Juventus and Manchester United can make a big swap. Xavi will not head to Barcelona anytime soon, 16-year-old Mukoko begins to conquer the football world, and again, the latest insights about the future of Lionel Messi, which remains in limbo. The episode turned out to be intense even despite the fact that it was Friday. Come on, friends, subscribe. We know you watch us every day but still haven't subscribed. Do that right now, we are waiting for you. What matches will you watch today? Let us know in the comments below. Guys, like and subscribe and we will begin. Let's go! PSG will not offer head coach Thomas Tuchel a new contract, despite the current one expiring in the summer of 2021. The bosses of the Parisian club want to change the coaching staff and are considering the candidacies of Massimiliano Allegri and Maurizio Pochettino. 16-year-old Borussia forward Mukoko became the youngest scorer in the Bundesliga. Ibrahimovic received a new injury in training. The Swede felt discomfort in the calf area. He can miss four more matches. Real Madrid are doing better than Barca during the pandemic. Income from ticket sales make up an insignificant part of the club's revenues. This is a great merit of Paris. As quotes the authoritative Spanish economist José Carlos Díaz. Xavi doesn't intend to leave Al Sadd until 2022. Some of the Barca presidential candidates want to see him as a head coach. Messi received an award sponsored by the Prince of Monaco for the activities of his charity foundation. The award is called Champion for Peace of the Year. Keep it up, Leo! De Bruyne? He will have no rest. Kevin is too important for us. We need him, said Man City coach Pep Guardiola. Puig doesn't do enough in training to change the coach's mind, said Barcelona manager Ronald Koeman. Jota has been named Liverpool's best player for the second month in a row by the fans. Holland is the best player in the Bundesliga in November. He has five goals in three games. A match with Sheffield? Games like this make my hair go grey much faster, said Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Neymar's goal against Istanbul is recognized as the best in the group stage of the Champions League. Schalke 04 confirmed Baum's dismissal. The team hasn't won a single Bundesliga match with him. This season's fixtures? We are killing players. I still think our schedule is crazy, said Ronald Koeman. Manchester City is ready to consider transfer offers for defender Oleksandr Zinchenko in January, 90 Min reports. Liverpool may sign Brighton midfielder Bissouma in the winter. Club sees him as a replacement for Wijnaldum. PSG? These matches will be very difficult. I know Neymar well. It will be a great sight for the fans, said Gerard Pique. Flick deserves the prize. My word belongs to the whole team, said Robert Lewandowski. Barca may sell Coutinho due to Pedri's progress and the Brazilian's high salary. I would not say that I'm the best coach in the world. In fact, Flick won everything, said Jurgen Klopp. Ronaldo, a little rivalry with Messi, helped him get better, said Iker Casillas. Busquets overtook Puyol in games for Barca. Sergio has 594 matches. Only Xavi, Messi and Iniesta have more. Ramos, Azar and Modric chose Zidane in the best vote. Bale didn't. McKinney was named US Player of the Year. He was ahead of Pulisic and Dest. Wolverhampton is interested in Origi. Liverpool are ready to consider the offers for the forward. Qatar officially opened the fourth of the eight arenas that will host the final tournament of the 2022 World Cup two years later. The stadium with a capacity of 40,000 spectators hosted the Emir Cup final. Juventus forward Paolo Dybala was injured in training and will not play in the 13th matchday of Serie A against Parma. In his first season as head coach, Chavis Al Saad won all four Qatari football tournaments. Bravo! Laurent Blanc accepted the offer of the Qatari club Al Ryan. The French specialist returns to work after four years. Welcome back! Each training session in Atletico under Simeone is a real war said Marcos Llorente. Now is the time to check out yesterday's results in the top 5 leagues. Now let's get to the main news. Borussia Dortmund failed to beat Union Berlin in the away game of the 13th matchday of the Bundesliga. 
to 1. They host open the scoring in the middle of the second half of the meeting. But the BVB were able to answer after 3 minutes. The goal was scored by 16-year-old Yusufa Makoko. In the 78th minute of the match, the Berlin club again took the lead thanks to a goal by Friedrich. Three substitutions of Borussia could not influence the outcome of the game. The match ended with a score to 1 in favor of the hosts. Juventus doesn't give up hopes for a signing of Manchester United midfielder Paul Pogba. According to ESPN, Old Lady is ready to transfer the player next summer. It is noted that Juventus is ready to include two players in the deal, Paula Dybala and Federico Bernardeschi. Pogba himself wants to leave Manchester and is determined to return to Turin, from where he moved to Man United in the summer of 2016. One of the options for the transfer of the Frenchman could be the swap of Paul for the forward Cristiano Ronaldo. Barcelona striker Lionel Messi has yet to make a final decision on his future. The Argentinian put on pause the decision of further actions until January 24, when the presidential elections for the Catalan club will take place. Messi wants to listen to Barcelona's new president before deciding whether to stay at the club. ESPN reports. Last summer, the captain of the Blaugranas wanted to leave the club and even made a request for a transfer which was not satisfied with the management of Barca led by José Bartomeu. The forward's current contract with the club expires in the summer of 2021. In January, he will receive the right to negotiate with other teams. Barcelona presidential candidate Agusti Benedito spoke about the situation with forward Lionel Messi. We would all like to see Messi stay at Barcelona. He is the best player in the world. I heard about Leo's desire to leave Barcelona, and this desire arose not because he got up on the wrong foot. If he doesn't change his position, then, from a financial point of view, we will not be able to compete with any other team in Europe that wants Messi. When I heard Neymar talking about wanting to play with Messi, I said, Damn it, watch out for these guys. PSG belongs to people from Qatar and they are the organizers of the World Cup. They have full control over their club. If PSG wanted him, we would not be able to compete financially. Hopefully, the day will come when Messi will say that after 20 years at Barcelona, he wants to stay. Marca quotes Benedito. Friends, it looks like Lionel Messi can really go to PSG. Inside Football has figured out why this transfer is real. We invite you to watch. The video is in front of you. Well, we will say goodbye. Have a nice one and see you in a bit.